Hi all, today we are going to discuss about balanced which is also called as a restricted earth fault protection of alternator. So for the case of small generators or alternators, sometimes the terminals are connected together like the three phase terminals in the neutral side are connected together and only one terminal will be outside available. So we know that the merge price protection can be applied which is discussed in last class or differential protection can be applied only if there are three terminals on both the sides. But here as only one terminal is available for the protection, so merge price protection or differential protection cannot be applied. So in that case we go for this, this balanced protection scheme or restricted earth fault protection scheme. So you have to remember here this can protect only against the earth falls in the protected zone. Only if the earth falls are happening within the, the stator winding of an alternator, only those falls will be detected and it cannot detect the phase falls because the reason and other things we are going to elaborate now. Because in most of the cases we know that phase 2 phase falls will convert to the phase 2 earth falls because soon because of the sparks that comes the insulation get burnt and generally they convert to the phase 2 earth faults so automatically your relay will detect those faults easily. So this is already discussed in different types of faults in alternators topic you can please refer there. So let us take the thing so this will have the construction like this here one CT will be connected in the neutral circuit and three CTs are connected in the three respective phases and they are connected together that means you can see this side they are connected together and this side also they are connected together. Let us keep the terminal numbers as X and Y. Okay, and along with them, so this CT1, whichever is passing, so this is also connected together and the current will pass through the relay only if some of the currents that are produced due to all the three CTs or because of CT2 set as well as CT1 that sum is not equal to zero, then only the relay current will pass. Otherwise, the relay will not get the current and it cannot operate. Generally, the relay that is used is the earth fault relay it is a earth fault relay. The reason or the meaning of this one is it is generally set to operate for nearly 20 percent. So 10 to 20 percent setting it will operate 10 to 20 percent of the full load current. What is the current setting and other things we have already discussed in our module number 3. So let us see when the fault happens to the external side. So what is going to happen and when it happens in the internal to the zone or within the protected zone what will happen. So now let us assume the fault has happened here. The fault is phase to phase fault. So when the fault is phase to phase fault. So the current fault current will pass like this and it will return back. You agree with me and it is not associated with ground. So the current is affected in this CT as well as in this CT. It is affected in this CT as well as in this CT. So now because of this the secondary side the currents are produced. If you take the sum of the currents. So let us it will be easy to understand if you are going for the sequence components. So in the sequence component that means fault analysis you have studied that whenever the fault is not associated with the ground that means phase to phase fault or unbalanced loading. So that will have only positive and negative sequence components only will be there. So the positive sequence components are displaced from each other by 120 degrees in the positive direction sequence will be there and negative sequence components are also displaced by 120 degrees but their sequence is in opposite direction. So when you take the instantaneous values of currents produced by these three cities because only positive and negative sequence are there the sum of the currents will be equal to 0 the sum of the currents will be equal to 0. So that is why no current will pass from here. So here the current is equal to 0. The reason is the sum of positive sequence plus negative sequence currents is equal to 0. Because the sum of the positive and negative sequence currents is 0. So no current will pass through this. And even this CT will not detect any current because this is not associated with the ground. So we can tell that whenever the external phase to phase fault happens, it is not going to detect. So let us see the case when an external ground fault happens, then what will happen? So to understand that I am taking the ground fault here, the fault has happened here. So whenever the fault is associated with the ground, the current will return back like this. So current is written back like this. So which relays are operated? So this one is affected, this CT is affected and whatever current is coming that current will return back like this. So like this, getting this one. So in this CT secondary side the current is induced. Let us assume this side I am taking the dot notation and here also I am taking the dot notations here. That means current will pass from here. So whichever current is coming here this current will come like this 
and the current produced by this will come like this. That means whichever current is coming that will circulate through this CT and it will return back. Or we can tell that when you are taking the sum of the currents because this involves zero sequence component. So, this will involve positive, negative as well as zero sequence components. But whenever you are taking at this junction x and y, the sum of the positive and negative sequence components will be equal to zero, but zero sequence component is not equal to zero. And this will involve only zero sequence component because it is associated only with the ground. So, now the sum of the currents because whatever current is coming here, this current is circulating through this one and it is returning back. So, what is the current that is passing here? This current will be equal to zero. That means no current will pass through your relay. So, your relay will not operate. That means let us take for example, this is the current that is induced here. Same current is passing through this one and it is circulating within this loop. So, it will follow the circulating current scheme. So, whenever the ground fault happens in the external circuit, as it is detected both by CT1 as well as 1 CT of the CT2, so no current will pass through your relay. So, your relay will not operate. So, we conclude that when the fault is external fault, whether it is phase fault or a line fault or phase fault or ground fault, so it is not going to affect our CT. So, let us take the case of faults that are happening inside your zone. So, let us take for example, inside there is some phase fault. There is some phase fault here, there is a fault. So, whenever the phase fault happens, the current will circulate like this, agree with me. So, this current is passing. So, the fault current will pass us here also and this fault current is not passing through CT1 because the fault current is only sensed by CT1, that current is not sensed by CT2. So, because of this what happens, the current will induce in the secondary side. So, how this current will pass? This current will, because at this junction, because these CTs are not affected due to the internal fault, there is no response of them. So, the current will pass like this. This will return back through this one and pass back. So, you can see whenever there is some internal fault that is particularly the line to ground fault, that fault is detected by this relay. So, your relay will operate. This current is not equal to 0. So, your relay will operate. So, depending on what is this value of the ground resistance according the fault current is limited. So, we can protect nearly 80 to 90 percentage of winding is protected using this system. Getting this. So, let us take the case of phase to phase fault. Some internal phase to phase fault happened. In that case, what will happen? So, I am taking the case there is a phase to phase fault. This is my fault. So, as it is phase to phase fault, the current through this one will be equal to 0. So, how the current will pass? The current will only circulate here. So, as the current is circulating within the phases and that is not detected by either the CT1 or the CT2 because no current will pass through the CTs. So, the current that is passing through your relay, the current that is passing through your relay will be equal to 0 because this phase to phase fault is not detected by either CT1 or the CT2. It just circulates within the phases inside only. Getting this one? So, we can conclude that this restricted earth fault protection system, it is called as a restricted earth fault because it can detect the earth fault only within the protected zone. So, it is restricted to operate only for the protected zone. That is why it is called as restricted earth fault protection scheme. So, I hope the restricted earth fault protection scheme is completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.